All right, that's what it looks like now. now I'm gonna make um, two larger uh, emoji faces and use some uh, crayons that are skin color crayons. I'll try to make about four faces and then color them. a little too small. Let me go ahead and redo it. And your face will be a little bit bigger. Can't get enough detail on it if it's too small. <laughs> made that lips because now it looks like she's like angry and the other girl's trying to like jerk her up <laughs> all right now let's see i work on the colors let's see if i can't fix that to just lips instead of trying to make it look like she's grinning because now it looks like she's like gritting her teeth <laughs> Do 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 I almost forgot I was supposed to be doing the crayons. So they're not really coloring that well. Well, I hear I am learning the importance of good grade crayons. I haven't used crayons in a long time. Crayola crayons, if you use something like this. The color comes off really well. This is almost coming out white looking. Like no color white. It's a little bit darker. 
That doesn't look like Bigfoot at all. It's a darker. So what are we learning? Importance of good quality, at least in crayons. I don't know about markers because the markers I use are pretty cheap and they're pretty good quality. Okay, now this makes it look like she's got a little color. So of course now, I got too much crayon. Let's grab some of it. That's just not going on good at all. It's like so waxy, it's not even catching on paper. And this is regular paper. Yeah. I guess that's as good as I'm going to get with that color. Alright. What does it look like if I put on something that doesn't have any color? See, look. You can't layer these crayons for sure. Cannot layer these crayons. And they're, they don't go on paper very well, so it's getting really streaky. You can't even press hard to make it. You can't even press hard to get the color to go on so that you can scrape it. Because it just it's not adhering to the paper. It's just making my art look ugly. Alright, so these crowns came from Dollar Tree. And I guess unless you're like drawing like coloring and really, really textured paper it's not gonna stick and look that's nowhere near that color find one more color I'm gonna color the rest in um, marker. This almost looks purple. That's a nope. That doesn't look like a sweet color. That's purple. It's a little bit better. Not really the color I was going for, but I guess this is all I can do with this. I might have to go over this with a um, marker anyways, because this, this is horrible. Like, this is a really cute, cute jarring being turned, like, horrible. Alright, that's all the tests I'm going to do for that. I didn't buy these. My sister did. She wanted me to test them, so... Hope you're watching sister these are not very good crayons not for coloring something like this it's supposed to be for skin color they don't go on paper very well at some point i might get an actual coloring book or at, tell her to get one and try it on color book paper because it is textured and not smooth like this stuff like this is just copy paper Make sure you get all her crayons back in here. Alright. Now I'm going to get me some markers and speed this up. There we go. So I found something similar to the color I wanted. Oh. 
close to it. Yep, almost spot on. Do 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 Try to get something similar. I want this to be lighter than it was. But I want it to be like sort of brown. But it's... The pigment really wouldn't stick to the paper. And this I wanted to be kind of peach colored. Kind of a light tan peach colored. So I'm going to try to find something. This one turned out really well because I accidentally coated it with the marker. And then for some reason the crayon colored over the marker decently uh, maybe because it gave it a little texture because it wet the paper anyways speed this up All right, my camera went out for a little bit. Back to recording. <laughs> Here. 
lighten up here just a little bit. Ooh. 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 I almost forgot part right here. Using some fluorescent orange to try to lighten this edge of her hair. So you can at least see a little bit different between her hair and her skin. This is as low as I'm gonna get it. Make sure you get some color for the lips. Lighten the cheeks a little so you can tell the cheeks. Good thing is these are really pretty cool as stickers. <laughs> Some of them a little creepy looking. No thanks to a little help from weird crayons. in the uh, skin color crayon mess up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.